Hey guys, it's Jerron Randolph here, and this is YC on the Streets. Today we're going to talk about border detention centers. Today we're talking about Donald Trump's decisions with his internment camps, concentration camps, detainment centers. What are they really? Let's find out. Out here in New York City, Central Park, trying to find out what people think of border control. It's getting crazy out here in these YC streets. Do you agree with President Trump's comment that the detention centers containing undocumented immigrants are better than when Obama had them? I don't agree with anything Trump has to say. I really don't. I've known him too long. I've, I've witnessed him when he was a businessman, um, when he did wrestling, reality shows. He was on WWE, everyone back home. WWE. Right, that's our president now. Yeah, that makes me feel secure. So anything he says, I, I really don't hold much in anything he says. So no, I don't. Uh, I, I disagree with it. Disagree? Yeah. Um, based on, like, on the footage and like the evidence that's going on with um, how the children were separated, yeah, I don't. I'm sure he probably has no proof of that, so I would disagree. Of course I do. Not. <laughs> well, first of all, no detention center is nice. Nobody wants to be in a detention center, especially when you're doing something as horrendous as separating families. That makes no sense. A country made of immigrants, treating immigrants the way that we're doing is, is ghastly behavior. That's, that's all I can say about that. I do not agree with that. No, and, and there are no good detention centers. It was a bad practice back in the days, it's a bad practice now. Uh, what do you think about his zero tolerance policy, which is prosecuting anyone who's coming across the border for any reason, for whatever reason? I'm 100% behind him. Tell us why. I'll tell you why, because uh, if you're going to come into this country, you come in the way, same way everyone else came in. You either came in through uh, this, uh, Liberty Island, and you're documented, and we know who's coming into the country. I don't see what's wrong with that. I never uh, understood as to why um, whatever was going on on the border was, uh, was uh, going on in a very, uh, how would you say, uh, stealth-like way where there was no attention being uh, drawn to that uh, operation that they have there. Uh, and I, now that there's attention being drawn, I think uh, that things need to be fixed. His, what do you think about the zero tolerance policy? I think there's probably better ways to control immigration. Like ever since his president, ever since he became president, like it just got more intense than it should have. Uh, I think it's unfair. Um, I think it's unfair primarily because uh, there are you know people that have been in this country for generations and. Um, you know, why should they have to leave, number one? And number two, those that have children, um, it's atrocious, it's sad, and um, I think that there needs to be something else besides zero tolerance, uh, but that's extreme. Yeah, it is, because children need to be with their families. I agree, I agree. And people that have worked in this country for years um, and are able to prove it uh, should be allowed to stay. Um, I think if we don't have any tolerance in America, that is the melting pot. This is supposed to be the melting pot. You know, especially in New York City, immigrants have come from all over. That's what America is. That's the Statue of Liberty. Is. Right, that's what the Statue of Liberty is. So to not have any tolerance and support for people coming in from, you know, situations, that's not tolerable. So I don't agree with that either. Rosa Lovera, ¿cuál es tu opinión con lo que está haciendo Trump? Dividiendo las familias y quitándole los niños a las madres y los padres por, por la inmigración, las leyes de inmigración y todo eso. ¿Cuál es tu opinión? Bueno, está muy mal hecho porque los padres tienen que estar con sus hijos y además los hijos que están separados de su padre se ponen tristes, no comen y además se sienten alejados de su familia. Y a mí me gusta decir que los niños son, como, ¿cómo se dice? Lo, lo que agarran el futuro. Sí. Sí, son lo principal porque sin niños no hay futuro. Uh -huh. Bueno, muchas gracias por hablar con nosotros. So, my name is Jose Cambrella and this has been YC on the Streets. It's a beautiful day in America. Not so many beautiful things going on in America.